What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Before I start this video, this video about tips of the week. Um, before I start this video, I just wanna thank everybody who subscribed this week. We we'll really appreciate it. Um, uh, it was a busy, busy work for a busy week for VIP. We had so many customers for VIP this week. We had so many people subscribe. Uh, almost every customer I spoke to this week subscribed. I just want to thank everybody who believes in VIP number one. And uh, they did understand that this whole thing is, uh, I mean, to, to be able to receive service, you got to pay for it. And that was, that was what it's all about. And uh, in the end, we are the cheapest uh, between anyone else. Nobody's doing what we're doing and we're going to continue uh, to compete on a high level. Well, it's not like, you know, whoever's not using uh, VIP has something special. They don't. Actually, the users of VIP have something special and ShopMonkey users and all the rest don't. Uh, we're, we're playing on a high level with a cheaper price like, like this, but in the end, the company has to make money and uh, that's why subscription, we live in an era of all subscription. Well, you might not like it, I don't like it either, but this is the new era. If you have a company and you don't have a, and like, and you offer service and you don't have a subscription plan, um, you'll be out of business, as simple as that. This is the era of subscription. Uh, I have so many subscriptions I can keep up. Just cable alone, I have a YouTube subscription, I have uh, a Netflix subscription, I have uh, um, just I'm talking about cable. I have Peacock subscri subscription. It, they, they're dividing it, it and it's just crazy. Disney for my kid. Uh, too many subscription. It's the era of subscription. Uh, like I said, you might not like it, but if you don't participate, you'll be left alone, and life's too short to be left alone. Anyway, this uh, this video is really important because I want to talk about. Uh, some stuff that I did uh, for the past two weeks that I haven't talked about, uh, starting with uh, inventory. So inventory, I've been getting this request a lot. That let me just select an estimate real quick. And in the problem with inventory was that the complaint I've been getting is, uh, Mark, I have inventory, but the problem is I'm creating so many estimates and now. The estimate are not being converted and not basically being converted to an invoice and being sold so that now that the inventory are being stuck in the estimate or especially if they archive the estimate. Another issue that we're having inventory being stuck inside the inside the quote too. That's another thing. Not anymore. So here's the new way of inventory. Inventory when you when you when you go in here, let's say say tires inventory and let's say I want to get um, let's say I want to get four tires out of Firestone I just want to get four and I just added the, those four tires if I go back to inventory I'm gonna see it's still five nothing has changed and the reason what we're doing right now this we're putting it in a temporarily hold meaning that I can create another estimate uh, or unlimited estimate based on those five but when the inventory will be deducted under one condition when you when this job is sold and you convert to an invoice say i authorize it and now it's an invoice so basically at this moment you sold the job so if i go back to inventory and click on tires inventory i can see it's one right now so keep that in mind that's how inventory works right now um, and moving forward with that option you can have as many estimates as you want um, don't get me wrong you still cannot add inventory if you don't have the quantity but if you do have the quantity you can have unlimited estimate until you sell the job once you sell the job basically it will be taken away from inventory if you convert this estimate back to uh, this invoice back to original estimate the inventory will go back. So if we go back in here and go back to tires inventory, we can see it's five. So inventory has have we given inventory a huge, huge upgrade in this the latest the latest two updates. I think I released this uh, at the beginning of the week. So keep that in mind. Another big tip that I want to talk about, which is somebody been struggling from. Um, from day one, it was a hilarious conversation I had with her. 
Uh, back in the day, she said, Mark, the, the estimate and the appointments, they're not linked together. I was like, what are you talking about? I don't understand what she's talking about. And uh, so I kind of dared her yesterday, uh, actually no, two days ago, I dared her. I was like, if you subscribe to me, because she didn't have any subscriptions on the one-time payment. And I was like, if you subscribe to one of the uh, text message, oh, text message online ordering, uh, I, she does. She can't use online ordering because uh, she uses the business. She uses it for a different things. So I was like, if you subscribe to the text message, I'll make this happen. So that was actually this option came from her. Uh, you gotta thank her. I know you guys don't know her, but thanks to that person, basically, that's the that's the best way to put it. So let's check it out. What how what, what I'm talking about? Uh, let's select. Let's create a new estimate right here, and let's just create. And okay, so in this case, this customer right here, if you notice, he has an appointment, and uh, you're gonna see a check mark right now. If I click on that check mark at the bottom, it's gonna show me the appointment. There is an appointment actually for this customer today. Uh, at, you know what? Let's just delete it and make it make it something better. So let's go back to our appointment and delete this appointment. And uh, let's go back to this customer right here. And you're gonna see there's nothing there. So when there's an appointment, it's gonna be a check mark there. When there is no appointment, it's gonna be empty. So I can create, if I click on this and click schedule an appointment, and let's say we're doing, we're gonna be doing uh, tire rotation on um, next week um, on Tuesday, right? And we're gonna do it, let's say at 2 p.m. Confirm. And just like that, it's it added the tire rotation right there. So if I click on it, I can always I'm gonna always see the appointment. Let's delete this estimate. When the customer come back, that's the whole question about it. When a customer come back for that car, we're gonna see there's a check mark right there. There's an appointment right there, and it's even gonna fill up the reason why is he here for, which is another big deal. So it's gonna tell you there's an appointment. He needs the tire rotation. If I click on it, I can see the appointment from here. It's at 2 p.m. Uh, it's for Mark. It's for 06 Pontiac G6. It's tire rotation. Perfect. Another thing she asked about was, I would like to search appointments with if I need to. If you have so many appointments, it's kind of hard sometimes to find a person when a customer walk in. I'd like to create to start the estimate. I don't want to start looking to these appointments, especially if you have multiple appointments on one place uh, like this. So it's kind of hard to know who's who. So I did add the option right there. There's a, you can search by phone number. If I search by phone number, you can see it pops it up. So what happened is search for the appointment automatic, automatically and it brings it up to you. It tells you when is the appointment. I'm um, trying now, I can confirm the appointment or I can create a new estimate, select the vehicle, and I'm good to go right there. So you're gonna see this check mark only for future appointments. Obviously, it's not gonna show appointments from yesterday or from, from days before, only for a few appointments. We did have reminders before. I don't think there is no need for reminders. Reminders and appointments are the same thing so if the cost if you want to make a reminder just make an appointment might as well schedule an appointment with a customer assume the customer uh, needs let's go ahead and delete this I want to talk about reminders because we had reminders before some people were using it the majority were not using it because basically they were using instead of the reminder they were using uh, the appointment so there is no need for it so what you can do with the reminder just use the reminder as an appointment Assume this guy right here, he needs, um, let's say what this guy needs. He needs an, um, he needs to install tires in the winter, right? Which is, that's a long time ago. We're gonna go on just right before, uh, let's say you wanna do it in December, let's say you wanna do it on Friday on the 3rd. Uh, say he needs tire replacement, and he wanna come in at 11 a.m. And just confirm that's your reminder basically from now on is your appointment so if we, we're gonna see the check mark right there if I click on it it's gonna go directly it's gonna tell you it's gonna be on December 3rd and tire replacement if we go to appointments right here that's called future appointments future reminders it's the same thing we go to appointments right here and let's say I want to go back to let, let's go to Go to 
December. Um, we can go from here, see what's up. I forgot what day I put that appointment. Yep, it's right there. So uh, December, December 3rd on Friday, uh, he needs an appointment. So the appointment's always right there. So I think that's really cool. We definitely tied in appointments with the estimate in the vehicle itself, um, which is really cool. Thanks to that person who made that happen and subscribe. Uh, the last thing I want to say, um, if you haven't, if you're a one on the one time payment and you haven't subscribed, take advantage of the parts catalog and the text messaging and the tech support, uh, for the cloud members, obviously they're already subscribed. So they have all these in one, um, um, and we're always welcoming the new customers. Um, uh, this, uh, VIP has been proven that it works really good. It works great. You have a professional invoice. You have a professional, we have it all, man. Uh, it's all right here, man. We have your our reports right here. You can see everything daily, weekly, monthly. You, have, you can see the whole year from here just by one click. See what's your net sales and all that. Um, you can compare each month, which is that's something really cool. See if you're making money, if you're doing good or bad. Um, um, you can see your sales tags broken down right here. Another big advantage uh, fees, purchase orders. Um, balance sheet is the big deal. Nobody has that. We have it. Uh, people talk about QuickBooks all the time. It's right here. We're giving you the summary. People go add their stuff on QuickBooks to get the summary. It's right here. Just take advantage of that. We have monthly expenses. Just, you know, all you have to do, add your monthly expenses. We're making uh, uh, accounting super simple and super easy. All you have to do is just auto populate this and look at this, it fills it automatically. Um, just, you know, go ahead and edit whatever you need to edit, change the date, whatever you need to do. That's it, it's all in here. Anyway, that's all what I wanted to say for this week. I appreciate you guys until next time. Uh, thanks for watching.